Five new members were inducted into the David S. Howe's St. Catherine Sports Wall of Fame this week. The Sports Wall of Fame is located at the Meridian Centre and the concourse was packed with friends and family who were on hand to witness the induction of the class of 2019. What struck you about this year's group of inductees as a whole? Just the amount of um, success that they've had, whether they've been a builder or as an athlete, and how much how important um, coming home and St. Catharines is to them. They love representing St. Catharines in whatever they've been doing, uh, love representing Niagara, and, and they love coming home. And it seems like every year we almost raise the bar. We have just so many deserving people, athletes and builders that come in. It really makes it hard as a selection committee, which is a great thing. Ron Swede Burak was the first to be inducted. Barack began rowing in high school and just a year later competed in the Youth World Championships. He would go on to represent Canada at four World Championships and won Olympic Games. When I was first heard about it, it was actually, I describe it as a knee buckling um, reaction. It was something that I couldn't believe. And it was like, I just like, I put my hand on the wall, I was like, what, me, really? This is about a few weeks ago and it was like, oh, I kept the secret for a while because um, I was coaching at the time, I didn't want to distract the rest of the team, but it was actually knee buckling. Juanita Dykstra May also joins the class of 2019. Juanita set the Canadian junior record for high jump in 1993, and her jump of 1.92 meters still stands. She was a CIAU champion, a six-time All-American at Kansas State, and a five-time Canadian champion. Uh, absolutely gobsmacked. Like, I just was not expecting this at all. My uh, family set up a, we just had a get together, and then Peter Partridge came down and announced it, and I just, I had no idea. I was absolutely, completely surprised. Just Peter, didn't even consider. Peter announced this in person? Yeah, he came down to uh, my, my oldest brother's house and said that I'd been inducted, I'd been nominated, and then was being inducted, and I had absolutely no idea. Allard Obi O'Brien was inducted posthumously. O'Brien was the first St. Catharines Junior A player to break the 50 goal mark. He would go on to have a distinguished 12-year pro career that included two Calder Cup championships with the Hershey Bears. And, and Dad told us both at one point that the second Calder Cup team would have given a good run to the Stanley Cup team. Later on, did your dad ever talk about uh, playing pre-expansion and the fact that maybe he didn't have that opportunity? He, if he, know, he said, if I'd known that was coming, I still would have been playing. But he, uh, he was last year, he, he was a player coach and manager of the Philadelphia Ramblers. And then uh, Molson's Brewery, who he worked for in the summertime, offered him a full-time position, so he took it. When he came back, though, he still had a hand in... Um, this is St. Catharines Blackhawks. He coached the Junior B team, and for a while he coached the Junior A team. And when he wasn't doing that, then he helped Fred Muller on the sidelines doing other things for a number of years. Bill Shank enters the Wall of Fame in the builders category. Shank's decades-long association with rowing includes serving as president of the Royal Canadian Henley Regatta, as well as playing a significant role in St. Catharines hosting the World Rowing Championships in 1999 and serving as co-chair of a successful St. Catharines bid for the 2024 World Championships. You know, I've been uh, all day answering uh, texts and emails, and so it's a little overwhelming. I didn't, you know, this is not something that, that I would normally do. I'd be the one in the background having someone else making uh, and getting the different awards. So for, for me, it's uh, just a little overwhelming. It's, it's a great honor to be selected, and. I'm very excited and humbled by, by the experience of all this. Three-time Olympic medalist Tanya Verbeek was also inducted. She was an 11-time Canadian champion and the first woman to win an Olympic medal for Canada in wrestling. It's very important to kind of note where you've come from and your grassroots and, and, and how you got to where you, you, um, you know, where you wanted to be and like all those steps that uh, it took to, to get you into that place of success and, and sharing that with others is, is just, um, it's awesome, yeah. Visit yourtv.tv slash Niagara for more comments from the class of 2019.
In Niagara, you're watching The Source.